In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite little route combinations out of the empty bunch wide. This is kind of a way that you can essentially replace the trips tight end curl flat out of the five wide. It's a really fun and effective passing uh, concept. So let's dive right into the video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload videos every day that can help you become a better Madden player. And if you're new to the channel, we actually are planning to upload videos every single day, multiple videos a day for Madden 22. So make sure to subscribe in case you're uh, looking to get better. We're going to be posting videos every single day that help people become uh, better players at this game. Now, if you're new to the channel, we've been talking a little bit about the empty bunch wide here on the channel in um, I actually have a full empty bunch wide offensive scheme. If you want to get that full scheme, all you got to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. What that's going to do is it's going to sign you up for my text message membership, which is something that I do completely for free. And basically what it is, is every single week for this um, Madden 22 season, I release free offenses and free defenses. We released over 22 offenses and defenses in Madden 21. And we're planning to do even more of that or more than that for Madden 22. So if you want to get that, all you got to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. It'll get you all the Madden 21 content. And it will also sign you up for all of our Madden 22 content. Now, let's talk about the empty bunch wide out of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive playbook. And the play we're going over in this video um, is actually something that we're going to be utilizing to actually just basically work well against a lot of defenses and to play post corner read. And if you take a look at this uh, X receiver, you're going to notice that it's if I smart route this route, you're going to see it, it basically looks very similar to the trips tight end curl flat uh, money money route that has been so good for this uh, Madden season. And so honestly, what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to use this concept essentially like that. Um, what you're going to see is that I'm going to uh, essentially run a smart routed curl uh, or corner or uh, not corner uh, post just like that and then what I actually like to do off of that is if you take a look at where this circle receiver is at I'm going to put him on a curl route but I'm not going to snap him there I'll show you where I'm going to snap him in just a second and then I'm going to take the tight end and I'm actually going to put him on a flat route just like that so we have basically curl flat to the left and then on the left side um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm simply going to take the uh, square receiver and I'm going to put him on a drag and I'm going to streak the triangle receiver. This is basically the concept of curl flat um, as we know it. Okay, And what you're going to see is I'm actually going to start this by motioning the circle receiver out to the numbers and snapping the ball. So what you're going to see is my first read on this is always going to be this drag route. If I can hit this drag route, it's really one of my favorite routes in the game. Now as you also might have noticed there, the routes are running into each other. So an easy way that we can solve that problem is just simply doing double drag routes. Um, double drag routes are really probably my favorite route concept in Madden. And the reason why I like them so much is because of what they can do from a spacing perspective. Now if you're running this post quarter replay and you want to keep that flat on that side of the field, then a potential thing that you can do around that is simply to use a hitch to the triangle receiver. It looks something like this. This is going to allow you to essentially use the same concept, um, but now we're gonna basically be able to playmaker the hitch route. What you'll notice about this X receiver though that I absolutely love is that it gets over that 30 yard cloud. And that's what makes that route special. It's what makes the curl flat play from trips tight end so special is they have to basically use her that route. No questions asked, they pretty much have to use her that route. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna up, open up the middle of the field. So for example, an easy, another easy kind of concept is to simply take a dig route um, to the square receiver. So you'll see here I've got a dig route. Again, I'm gonna motion that curl outside the numbers just like that, so I get really good spacing. And then you'll see right here, if I have to check down to the out or the in, you see that it still puts itself in a really unique position. Now another little trick that you can use to run this if you want even better spacing is to essentially use this as a five wide, almost shallow crossing series. Um, it's really simple to do that. All we're going to do is we're going to take the square receiver and we're gonna put him on a drag. We're then gonna take the triangle receiver and we're gonna put him on that vertical. And then as you see here, we have the curl uh, flat read. And all I'm gonna do is just motion this, this drag out and kind of let him set his feet. And now I've got that drag coming underneath the entire um, the entire formation. As you can see, I still can hit my, my, my post over the middle of the field. 
Now, one thing I will say about this play is there is a way that you can actually glitch out the cloud flat um, to get it even more open if you want to. And the best way that I know how to do that is to use a, uh, an inside hitch. Okay, so what that would look like is basically I'm going to use that same motion to the square receiver, but this time I'm going to put triangle on a hitch, and then I've got my post, just like so, and I've got my curl flat uh, backside uh, combo. And what you're going to see happen with this is now because of this hitch, um, you see here it's going to really pull that cloud flat in. And if I have time, it's going to allow me to make a really clean throw uh, to this post row. Let me show you that one more time. So again, I've got my my 30 yard uh, my 30 yard flat zones um, that most people would say I think are the best route in the game or zone in the game uh, to be able to stop this concept. But you'll see here by just a simple you know just a simple uh, hitch, and I've talked about this before, but short side hitches are so good at this. If you watch that cloud flat, see how he sits inside, and as you can see right there, I'm able to throw this over the top for you know 40 to 50 yards. Now, I want to showcase how this works against man-to-man -man real quick. And against man-to-man, -man, um, this is going to be fairly consistent, uh, or just basically the same concept. So we got really good spacing here. If I want to take triangle and do you know whatever I want with him, if it's man, if I know it's man, I might put him on an in route. Um, but what you're going to see happen is, you know, basically it's, it's, it's basically curl flat. You're either going to hit your underneath crosser or you're going to hit your over top crosser. And then the lastly, you're going to be able to hit your, um, your curl to the circle receiver. The thing I like about this uh, post, if you want to, you actually can. You don't have to smart route this route. So if you want to keep it deep, you can. Um, and if you keep it deeper, what you'll see is it's maybe a little bit better against man because you get that nice um, aggressive jumping animation uh, just like that right there. Now another thing that I like about this as far as it pertains against man to man um, is a simple motion snap that you can do that I think makes this a really fun play to run. And basically what it is is we're going to do the same thing that we just did. The only difference is we're actually going to take the R1 receiver, we're going to put him on a drag route. And then as, you, as we talked about a second ago, we're going to run streak, we're going to run a hitch, and then we're going to motion this drag across, and now we're still going to get that high-low read, but as you see, the tight end now comes into compression where he cannot get pressed, and it makes this a really simple route um, that you can use to be able to beat the man-to-man -man coverage. Real simple and honestly real effective. Now, I really like to run this play to the short side of the field more so than the wide side, and the reason why is because of where that circle receiver is. If you notice now, the circle receiver is outside. Um, the reason this matters, or he's outside the numbers, the reason this matters is because zones react differently. The yellow zones don't really get outside the numbers. So when I go to something like this, and I'm using, you know, for example, I can even put the tight end on a hitch and then run, you know, basically run it like this if I wanted to. Um, if you don't want to, if you don't want to put the tight end on a motion drag, you can do this. Um, this is fine. Um, this hitch is, is going to be fine right here. But if you notice what's going to happen here, and now what you're going to see is because that curls on the numbers, it's going to open up a lot more spacing uh, for the rest of the play. So that's a simple concept that you can use to continue to open up this idea of curl uh, to flat. The other thing that you're going to get on this, uh, in particular to this post route, and really leveraging the power that I think lies in the post route is you can also do this simple um, this simple curl just like so and then when you motion when you bring this guy across on his flat the only player you're going to change is triangle so you're just putting him on a vertical and you leave this outside hitch now against cover three I want you to watch what happens you're going to see here that the triangle receiver is actually going to become a cover three beater over the top for a one plate score so this is a really good and effective I think even more effective way to run uh, the curl flat play. Now one little pro tip about this is if you're worried about the blitz or if you want to make sure that you're not getting any pressure uh, from this five man blitzing look, then what you can do is you can simply just block the tight end when you motion him across or we can put him on the vaunted delay fade that so many of you uh, probably don't like anymore. And what you'll see here is we just simply straight triangle, drag square. We have the same basic concept, but now we're blocking six. And as you can see, we're still able to bomb cover three over the top for a one play touchdown. 
So this Empty Bunch Wide uh, really does incorporate some core concepts that are super effective from the trips tied in, but it's from five wide and it incorp incorporates the opportunity for you to bomb cover three over the top for a one play score. So this thing kills Mabel coverage. It kills man to man. It kills match as well. Let me show you match real quick before we jump out of here. And just a reminder, if you want to get this full uh, five wide scheme, all you got to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. And that is my personal cell number. So if you need to get a hold of me, you can always hit me up via text message there. And uh, anyway, let's jump back into this. So again, I've got uh, post corner read. And this is just one version of this play. There's like a million and one ways in which you can run this. But let's say you're getting match coverage. Okay, so you're getting match coverage. Um, so I've got the hitch there. I've got this drag, you know, and I do something like this and I'm getting cover four quarters. Well, watch this X receiver. Uh, you're going to see here the X. Um, that's the one thing that you'll see. The biggest thing with this is if you know it's match. And you, you might not know that it's match. But the best way to know is if you look at that middle linebacker. So just based on where the middle linebacker is. The reason why I'm saying that is if we, if we know it's match, we'd probably really ideally want to bring, you know, that, that outside guy vertical as opposed to the inside guy. Just because of the way the match will play it. And what you'll see here is you'll get this post. I mean, the post will still be open no matter what, but it it's not gonna be open as far to the outside as we, as we previously thought it would. Now, one little pro tip that you can do to easily make this wide open against match is essentially just do a, just do a simple curl instead of a hitch now. And what you'll see happen is you've got your underneath drag route um, but now that you've got that curl, you're going to see that curl is going to hold just like so. And then as you can see here, I can throw this over the top just like that for an absolute laser. Let me show you this one more time against match coverage. And I want to show it to you the original way we, we meant to run this. So we're going to smart route X, curl circle. We're going to put R1 on a flat just like this. And then on the back side, we're just going to do that concept right here. Real simple. And, and we're going to motion this... Um, this square receiver to the outside. And what you're gonna notice here is he's gonna get this double team and then X is gonna get wide open. I had a little bit of throw out of sack there. So let me just kind of give you, let me show this with you with a little bit more time in the pocket. The reason why I like this is because this is a little bit more consistent for the X receiver to get open um, just because of what's gonna happen with that outside. You see he's gonna go to him and then they just basically will completely ignore the post and you can throw that on the sideline for a lane. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to get the full empty bunch wide offensive guide, all you got to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Or if you just want to sign up for the text message membership and get all of the 20 plus schemes that I released in Madden 21 and be able to be eligible to receive all of the schemes from Madden 22, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900.